Hello everyone, today I show you how to disassemble iPhone XR and replace Face ID. To disassemble iPhone XR you need the following tools. Screwdriver set, two wizards, opening plastic tool, plastic mediator, section cup for removing display. In description of this video I leave links to necessary tools and parts for replacement. Before disassembling turn off the iPhone and removing the SIM card tray. Unscrew two screws near the lighting port. Using a header, hit the display surface for 1 or 2 minutes. In this way, the glue hit between uh, the iPhone case and the display, so it will be easier to open the case. Apply the section cup to the bottom edge of the display and pull up on the ring. Next, push the plastic mediator between the display and iPhone case. If you cannot do this with a plastic mediator, take any thin plastic card and insert it between the case and the display. Then it will be easier to pry with the mediator. Now Evan Land slowly open the display around the perimeter of iPhone. The iPhone case opens like a book. The display opens to the right side. Using a tri wind screwdriver, unscrew the three screws and remove the metal panel. Now you can disconnect the battery cable from the mainboard. Next, unscrew two screws and remove the second metal panel. Unscrew another three screws with a dry wind screwdriver and two screws with a PH00 screwdriver. Disconnect cables of the display from the motherboard. For replace Face ID on iPhone XR you need to remove Taptic engine, speaker and battery. Using the screwdriver, unscrew 7 screws. Disconnect the cable. Unscrew two screws and remove metal panel. Disconnect the cable which is located between speaker and taptic engine. Unscrew the one screw on the speaker and do not lose the metal part which is located under the screw. Unscrew two screws on the taptic engine. Now you can remove the taptic engine from the iPhone case. Using flat screwdriver unscrew the two screws on the bottom of the speaker. Note that speaker glued to the bottom of the case. To keep the factory adhesive tape use a hair dryer to hit the place where the speaker glued. Now the speaker can be removed. Slowly pull one adhesive tape away from the battery. In the same order repeat with other three adhesive tapes.
in the description of this video are the links where you can buy new battery for iPhone XR. Using a header, I hit the back side of the iPhone case where located cables of SAD. Next, disconnect two cables from the main board and gently separate the cable of the iPhone case. Now you can replace the FSAD module. Now uh, let's see what can be replaced and what cannot. The FSAD module include infrared camera front camera and dot projector. The infrared camera and dot projector are in the main parts of Face ID system and they tied to the iPhone XR motherboard. So, after replacing one of these parts, the Face ID function will not work. However, you can replace the front camera. Uh, for example, you take any other original Face ID model from another iPhone XR, the Face ID function will not work, but the front camera will work. Or you can buy a copy of model Face ID, link I left in the description under the video. If you need to replace the front camera of iPhone XR in your original model, for example, for some reason the Face ID function works, but the front camera doesn't work then you will have to disassemble the Face ID model case. This case is difficult to open, so using pliers carefully unclatch the case of Face ID model. Install the Face ID model in the iPhone case. Connect three cables from the Face ID module to the logic board. The battery should be glued to the metal surface of iPhone case. Apply the adhesive tape and install the battery in housing of iPhone. Install the speaker to the case. Fasten two screws. Install the metal part and fasten screw. Install the taptic engine and connect the cable. Fasten two screws to the taptic engine. Between the taptic engine and speaker install the metal panel and fasten two screws.
connect the antenna cable, fasten 7 screws. For test iPhone connect 3 cables to the main board and only after that connect the battery cable. Turn over the display and turn on the iPhone. Check uh, how the iPhone works and if uh, everything is fine. Let's go to the gluing of the case. Remove the old adhesive tape from the iPhone case. After using medicine alcohol, wipe the surface of iPhone case in display module. Take a new adhesive tape and apply on the case. With this tape you keep the iPhone waterproof. I left links where you can buy this adhesive tape in description of this video. Connect three cables to the main board and only after that connect the battery cable. Next, install all panels and fasten screws. Now turn over the display and press the display to the case. Fasten two screws near the lighting port. Install the SIM card and now you can turn on the iPhone. Good luck!